If you purchased the DJI Mic 2 kit and need to set it up for the first time, I'm gonna go over all of the settings you should turn on right away to start recording audio with it. So let's get into it. Turn on the receiver and the transmitters to make sure they're all connected. We're gonna be using the receiver primarily, so swipe down from the top to bring up the menu. I'm gonna start by changing the receiver settings. I'm gonna select mono and change it to stereo. And then this will turn on the LR setting so that the audio from each transmitter is recorded onto its own track. Then we're gonna go back and over to recommended camera settings. Go ahead and select your camera brand and model. Mine is the Sony a7S III camera. And we're gonna go back and over to receiver gain. And since I set the receiver to my Sony camera, it adjusted the gain for me automatically. So I'm not gonna to touch it. Let's go back and over to volume. I'm gonna leave that alone because the level is fine for me, but you can adjust it if you need to. Then over to power on, off camera simultaneously. I'm gonna turn this on so that when I turn on my camera, the receiver turns on automatically. For receiver auto off, I'm gonna turn that on. And then over to link device, I'm not gonna do that because my transmitters are already connected, but if you need to reconnect yours, this is where you will do it. Let's go back to the main menu options and go over to the transmitter settings. Select low cut and turn that on. Then go over to transmitter gain. For the transmitter gain, I'm not gonna to touch that because my levels are okay. I'm gonna go over to 32-bit float recording and turn that on. Then over to record stop lock. If you have talent who will be wearing the transmitter, and I would turn this on to prevent them from accidentally pressing the record button on the transmitter while wearing it. I'm gonna leave this off. If you're gonna be wearing the microphone, then I would leave it off as well. Now over to noise reduction via button. Make sure this is turned on so you could control it by pressing the power button once to turn it on and off based on the environment you're filming in. Auto record. This is if you want the transmitter to start recording as soon as it's turned on or removed from the charging case. I'm gonna leave that off because I don't need it to start recording right away. Storage. There's really nothing to change here. It just tells you how much storage you have left on each transmitter. The vibration and notification, I'll leave that on. For the LED indicator, I'll leave that on as well, but you can turn it off if you don't want either of the LED lights on the transmitters to be on, especially when you're wearing them on camera. And transmitter auto off. I'll make sure that's on so that if I'm not recording internally on the transmitter or if it's not connected to any device for 15 minutes, it will automatically turn off. Under settings, you can control the brightness, language, date and time. If you need to reset it to the factory settings, check the firmware version and view the legal info. I'm not changing any of that, so I'll just get out of the menu and now the mics are ready to go. So that wraps up this video. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, then hit the like button so YouTube could share it with other creators like you and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and review videos. Check out another one of my videos here and I'll see you in the next one.